He just likes me because I make him look tall. <laughs> Uh, you pointed, you said that I should uh, mention that I'm about three and a half feet tall for uh, the people listening on the radio and any retarded people in the audience didn't notice. None of that's out of the way. Yes, that was me. You may have seen driving a 2003 Fortress 1700 convertible scooter. <laughs> that baby goes four miles an hour and two and a half seconds flat and the ladies love it. <laughs> It's got one horsepower in that engine. It's, it's miniature, three-inch horse. It's a pony. It's actually a miniature three-inch pony. His name is Two Trot. He runs on a hamster wheel. Makes the fortress fly. And the ladies love it. I love the ladies too, and uh, I'm not picky, but like all people, I have preferences and who I like. Like I, uh, I, I, I prefer not to be with a woman who smokes because I, it stunts the growth. <laughs> <laughs> I also, uh, I don't like the women I'm with. I prefer if they weren't under five feet tall because I'm not a freak with a midget fetish. Uh, <laughs> But ladies, if any of you have one, I don't discriminate. <laughs> Come look for me after the show. Ben's looking too. <laughs> uh, there was one more. I didn't. Um, only one that one type that I, I will not date, and that's uh, no facts. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh man, laughter just died down there. <laughs> Damn, what a superficial jerk. No, I actually dated a woman, an overweight woman, who was about 300 pounds. I know. And, um, <laughs> she was a lovely, lovely girl. I uh, yeah, had a cutest nickname for her. Jabba the Hutt. Uh, yeah. In fairness, it was a game we played. She used to call me Yoda. <laughs> but before I tell you about her, I should tell you something about myself. I, uh, I tend to move around a lot in my sleep, and it's great because I have a king-size bed at home, so I never know where I'm going to wake up, you know, north, east, west, and south. Every morning is a new adventure. So, uh, Chapa was spending the night, and, uh, she regretted to inform me that she also moves around in her sleep. I woke up in a place I never woke up before. intensive care. <laughs> A few days later, I woke up from my coma. <laughs> Jabba standing in front of my bed, crying her eyes out. But what is the first thing she says? She says, oh, oh Andre, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to break up with you. <laughs> what? I, I, I just, I, I couldn't go through that again. It, you could go through that again. Hey. I was I was told that they had to pull me out of your ass. Like Winnie the Pooh in Rabbit's Hole. And you could go through that again. So I punched her in the face. Normally I would not condone male on female violence. But if the woman outweighs you by 240 pounds, I think it's okay. <laughs> so that's why I don't date fat women. <laughs> Not superficial reasons, it's health reasons. <laughs> I don't want to go on there. Uh, now, uh, I'm not related to something. Do you guys remember that big blackout we had a few years ago? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah big chunk of America. Yeah, alright, shut up, let's talk. <laughs> so, um, I had just moved out on my own to my apartment for the first time, living alone, and that blackout hit, like, in a week. And I didn't know what to think, I just I checked my radio to find out what was going on, I turned it off, and I, I had no idea what to think of it. So I decided to write down my feelings, and I brought a copy 
of what I wrote, and uh, I'd love to share it with you guys. Can you hear it? It doesn't matter if you say what you're reading. <laughs> Here it is. Dear whoever finds his letter first, <laughs> I am the midget corpse you see lying on the floor. <laughs> know that I died extremely pissed off. <laughs> we live in an age where we can send people to the moon, but if someone so happens to fart in the direction of some power lines, it sends our society back to the 19th century. I wasn't upset at first until I realized that the elevator didn't work and I was stuck in my building as a result. <laughs> I was looking forward to joining my fellow Canadians on the street until I assumed there'd be a lot of rioting, raping, and other mindless critical activities. <laughs> Instead, I am stuck here with a massive ice cream headache, trying to finish it all before it melts. <laughs> Please, send my middle finger to whoever is responsible for the black <laughs> Yeah. With a note attached that says, Kiss my crippled ass. <laughs> Love, Audrey Aruda. Thank you very much for